Good evening, and welcome to Biker Church USA. I'm Pastor Mikey, and I'm the pastor here at Biker Church USA in Columbia. What I want to talk to you briefly about is the church. This room that we hold corporate worship in, what do we call it? A sanctuary. And when we think about the word sanctuary, we think about a place of refuge, a place of safety, a place where we can go and have no fear, a place of serenity, solitude. But is that what the church really is? You see, when we come to church, church for us really doesn't start until the doors are, everybody's in and the doors are closed and the outside world is closed off. And we get nice and comfortable in our nice big churches. They're warm in the wintertime, cool in the summer. They usually have comfortable chairs to sit in. And we get comfortable. And as we get comfortable, we expect the preacher to entertain us. Three songs in a sermon. As long as the sermon doesn't step on our toes and it builds us up and makes us feel good, then, hey, everything's okay. And from there we go home. We take off our Sunday best, put on our everyday clothes, and we go back to being who we are the rest of the days of the week. But see, God sees us 24-7. He judges our hearts and our, the intents of our thoughts. So what we have on the outside is mere window sh uh, shades. It's not who we are. So what is church? Well, you look around. Paul in Ephesians chapter 6 describes to us that putting on the whole armor of God. And in so doing, he, he's given us an idea that church is a place where you come and get armed up where you get ready for battle. And Jesus said that uh, he didn't come to bring peace to the earth, but to bring a sword. To pit father against son, mother against daughter, mother-in-law against daughter-in-law. He said that your enemies will be in your own household. And I'm not seeing much in the way of sanctuary there. I'm seeing in the, uh, all the arms. And I look at the, uh, the church, and I look at this room that we hold corporate worship in, and I see a training ground. A place where we come to get refitted and rearmed and ready for spiritual battle. A place where we seek encouragement, knowledge, understanding, and wisdom. And we're supposed to when we get rearmed, go back out those doors and face spiritual battle the rest of the week. See, church is a place where we come for training. Church is a place where we come whenever we've been in the battle and we're wounded. It's a place where we can get spiritual healing. It's a place where we can get encouragement. It's a place where we can get refitted and rearmed and ready for the next round of spiritual battle. But somewhere along the line, we've got it twisted. We think that church is a place where we come and sit and enjoy ourselves. Well, yes, we enjoy the fellowship and the company of our brothers and sisters in Christ. But we had better take that time and get ready for the next battle. Because if we don't, the battle is going to come upon us, and it does in the church today. See, if you think that Satan and his minions are not in the church and watching what we're doing... You're wrong. Because inside the church is his battleground. See, first thing he can, is going to do to us is see if he can get us comfortable. Once we become comfortable, he's going to make us complacent. And then apathy sets in. Then we split off into little cliques. And you've got this group over here and this group over here. And then all of a sudden he drives little wedges between them. And fractures start to mount. The next thing we know, we've got this group pitted against this group to the point that, that all of a sudden the church splits. Well, the people that leave, 
take that spirit with them. They don't leave it when they go. They take it with them and they go to another church and they infect it. But the people that stay, stay with that same spirit. And they're infected. The church has become, become Satan's battleground. He's got everything outside the door. This is where he's battling. If he can keep us here and keep us quiet and comfortable, then he knows we're not going to be outside causing him any habit, playing in his backyard. But where we're supposed to be is out in his backyard, redeeming back to God what is already his. Folks, we've got to come to a point that we realize that it is not about us, that it is all about Christ. It is about God's creation, redeeming and saving His creation back to Him because it belongs to Him anyway. Church is not a place that we come and sit. Church is a place where we come and get ring on. True church doesn't start until the doors open and we go out. And we need to face that. Folks, when you're at church, do it with the intent that you're being armed and prepared for battle and get ready to go out and do spiritual battle. Meet the devil on his terms in his backyard and take Christ and crush him. Because those that you are saving already belong to Christ. They're God's creation created in his image and his likeness. Jesus said that he came to seek and to save that which is lost. That falls on our shoulders too. Our job is to seek and to save that which is lost. Do not expect it to be your pastor's job. Expect it to be your job. If your church is not growing, it's not the pastor's fault. If your church is not reaching out, it's not the pastor's fault. If your church is dead, it's not the pastor's fault. It is the people in the church that allow it to happen. So do your pastor a favor. Help him. Be a witness. Take the word of God outside of the church door and redeem back to Christ what is already his. Then bring them to church. Train them in the ways of righteousness and train them to go back out those doors and win more. Perhaps we do it in the name of Christ. And if that's what we do, then we are living by the commandments that He gave us. Thank you.